Hello, my name is Gary Montgomery, Gary Montgomery Guitars, and today I'm going to be doing part two of the uh, Toretto Shipworm Guitar Build. That's right, you heard me right, Shipworm Guitar Build. So what is that? Well, let me show you what it is. This is a Sitka top that's been underwater for about 70 years and had little Toretto uh, worms eat holes in the wood. So these are actually little natural sound ports. To uh, compensate for the holes in the top, I made a little smaller uh, sound hole. Uh, I don't think I really needed to, but uh, I think it'd be fine just like it is. But I'm also gonna have a sound port on the side of the guitar. But uh, anyway, I joined the two tops together and put the rosette in. And let me show you my, the back and the sides. Well, not the back, but the sides. I've already uh, bent the sides. I hope you can see this. Kind of, whoop. Ah. Well, here we go. Let me get this back in order here. I bent the sides. I put the tailpiece head block in. Put Spanish cedar kerf linings. I call them kerf linings or kerflings, but I call them kerf linings. And man, I tell you what, Spanish cedar smells delicious. I like to put that in all my guitars because it makes the inside of the guitar smell good. And I've also put the little side braces, the little wood side braces in. That gives the sides uh, more strength and also keeps the wood from splitting. Um, so I'm moving along pretty good with this guitar. I've also, my Hormico guitar is uh, ready for, for uh, spraying. I'm fixing to spray lacquer on it. Uh, but anyway, all these guitars are going to wind up on Reverb. If you're inter interested in my guitars, go to Reverb.com and type in Gary Montgomery Guitars. And I've got one available right now for you if you're interested in it. But anyway, uh, uh, this one here is uh, moving along pretty good, and the Hormico guitar is almost finished. So, but anyway, if you like my videos, give me a thumbs up, and I appreciate it, and thank you very much. And uh, I hope you stay tuned to the rest of my videos, and uh, I'm looking forward to build, uh, build you a guitar. Uh, this is going to be a very unusual guitar for somebody. I mean, not too many people have a guitar that's got natural holes in it. And I've seen a few of these people put holes in them, but natural holes, no. All these little dark spots from minerals from the water. But anyway, I've seen a couple of these. There's only a few of these in the world. So if you're one of these people that like very unusual guitars, this might be the one for you. Uh, I think it's gonna be a great sounding guitar. Uh, I very rarely knew Sitka. Uh, matter of fact, this is my first time I've ever used Sitka. I normally use uh, uh, red spruce, uh, German spruce, and European spruce. But um, I wanted to try Sitka top. So far, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with it because it's got a good tap tone. I'm very interested in uh, seeing what they sound like. Uh, I know Martin uses Sitka, so, you know, hey, if a million guitars can't be wrong, right? <laughs> but anyway, um, Gary Montgomery, here with me and the shipworms. Thank you very much and see you on the next video. Thank you very much and God bless.